This is Christ Living Spring Apostolic Ministry Club, where the power of God wrought miracles through the hands of the anointed man of God, Pastor Wale Oladimi, the senior pastor, as he ministers salvation, deliverance, and healing. Prayers, they say, is the master key, but you must pray with understanding through the word of God and the reality of your new creation to defeat the enemies of your soul. Your life will not remain the same as you listen to this life-changing message. Thank you and remain blessed. To the podium, Pastor Peace Akegu Soye. Thank you this morning. Thank you, Lord. King of glory, we worship your name. Hallelujah. We thank you for your love over our family. Thank you, Lord. We thank you for your love over our clan. Thank you, we thank you for what we have been doing in this country. Thank you, Lord. Be exalted in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, specially we thank you for giving us victory over Ebola. Thank we you, thank you, we thank you, we thank you. We thank you for total victory over this plague in this our dear country. Be exalted in the name of Jesus. Amen. We thank you because we are in your presence today. We are not in isolation center in Yaba. Lord, we say thank you. Lord, we say thank you. Lord, we say thank you. It is by your power. It is not by our making. It is not because our medical practitioner they are experts is because you love us that is why you have given us victory be exalted in the name of Jesus Amen. Lord we thank you for yet another day we thank you for what you are going to do in our life this morning be exalted in the name of Jesus Amen. thank you for our father in the Lord thank you Lord. Thank you for your call upon his life thank you, Lord. thank you for your grace upon his life thank you Thank you for your anointing upon his life. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the global anointing. Thank you, Thank you for the special grace. Thank you, Thank you for this prophetic conscience upon him. Thank you, we worship you, Lord. Be exalted in the name of Jesus. Amen. We thank you for our mommy in the Lord. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your power. We thank you for the anointing upon her. Thank we thank you, you for your spirit upon her. Thank we you, give you honor. Be exalted in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you for the clan family. Thank you, thank you for what we have been doing. Thank you. Be glorified in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, this morning we come before you. Father, with your mighty power, visit everyone in our life. Amen. In this program, visit everyone, Lord. Amen. As many that are saying amen. I pray at the point of your need. I 
that's the point of your need. The Lord will meet you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Today, the Lord will single you out for a miracle. Amen. Every battle that follow you to this auditorium, every battle that follow you to this premises, I decree by the fire of Holy Ghost, they shall be arrested. Amen. 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 I decree in the name of Jesus that heaven will visit you. Amen. The God of heaven will visit you. Amen. Lord, I'm standing before your people once again. I ask for fresh anointing. I ask for fresh fire. I ask for fresh grace. I don't want to minister on my own. Lord, I'm releasing everything unto you. Holy Ghost, take over. Holy Ghost, take over. Holy Ghost, take over. Don't want the people to see me. But I want them to see your power in demonstration. Holy Ghost, come and take over. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. I want us to sing this song. And I want the choir to help me to sing this song. The, lo- the song says, Our Lord God, Thou hast made the heavens and the earth by thy great power. I want you to sing this song very well. Our Lord God, Thou hast made the heavens and the earth by the outstretched before we sit down. The first prayer point. You will say God of possibility. Make ma- Amen. I want to explain it before you pray. That God of possibility make my own situation to be possible this morning. That's what I say. There is nothing including your case. Including that long standing battle. Say because he is the creator of the universe. There is nothing there is what? Nothing. That is difficult for him. So I want you to shout. Say, Oh Lord God of heaven. Oh Lord God of heaven. Oh God of all possibility. Oh Lord God of all possibility. Visit my situation this morning. Visit my situation this morning. And make all impossibility possible. And make all impossibility possible. Open your mouth and begin to pray. In the name of Jesus. Oh God of possibility. Oh God of possibility. Yes, 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 yes. Visit me this morning. Talk to God this morning. And make all impossibility possible. Lord God of heaven. In the name of Jesus. Pray, 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 pray. God of all possibility. 
there is nothing impossible with God. With God, all things are possible. Cry unto God. God of all possibility. The Lord that can do all things. Do something new in my life. Do something new in my life. Mazeke libo zoto yerekaba. God of all possibility. Come and do your miracle in my life this morning. Come and touch my life this morning. Pray, pray, pray. Talk to God. God of all possibility. There is nothing impossible with you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The second prayer we are going to take it from the book of Psalm 91 verse 10. Thank God for the testimony of that our sister. The woman, the husband, the children inside the vehicle. The enemy has planned to wipe them off. But I want to tell you that is a wonderful testimony. Because what happened that day is a divine intervention. Angelic intervention. If not, they would have perished. And I want us to pray this morning. Holy Spirit, we should pray. That we reject evil. Our family rejects evil. Amen. Amen. Anyone connected to us, we reject evil. Amen. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I reject evil. I reject evil. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. We want to use it to pray. The Lord said we should pray to reject evil. The end of the year calamity. The end of the year evil. A lot of accident and disaster. Let's read from Psalm 91 verse 10. The Bible says, There shall no evil before thee. Amen. You are not saying amen. Amen. I say prophetically in the name of Jesus, There shall no evil before thee. Amen. Neither shall any play come neither dwell in. Amen. So you are going to shout. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Your Bible will say, Oh, and when I be a when I think of so you are going to shout that I and my family we reject evil, we reject accident, we reject calamity, we reject disaster, we reject, we reject end of the year evil. Say, Oh Lord God of mercy, oh Lord God, God of mercy, I'm here this morning. I'm here, I'm here this morning. morning. Hear my voice. Hear Hear my voice. voice. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I am my family. I am my family. We reject evil. We reject, we reject evil. calamity. We reject, calamity. We reject accident. We reject, we reject untimely death. We reject untimely Open death. your mouth and begin to reject it. We you begin to reject evil. Continue to reject it. I reject evil. I reject evil. No evil shall be for me and my family. I reject evil. Evil of, day, evil of the day, evil of the night. We reject evil of the night. Yes, 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 yes. We reject evil. We reject calamity. Oh, yeah, begin to reject it. Begin to reject it. In the name of Jesus. Reject it, reject it, reject it, reject it. Oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes. We reject accident. We reject it. We reject it. All forms of disaster. We reject Every calamity. We reject it. We reject it. We reject it. Pray, 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 pray. Reject evil arrow. Reject affliction. Reject accident, reject calamity, reject sickness, reject it over your life and your family. Shout it very well. This is the hour of prayer. Yes, 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 yes. Reject it in the name of Jesus. Over my wife, over my children, over my entire household. We shall never be a victim of any calamity. I reject it. I reject evil. Shout it. God of heaven is listening. Open your mouth and pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I want us to sing this song. Please face somebody and put whatever is in your hand down. Today is a day of prayer. When we are entering and by and by more like this, we need to pray more than anything. You have to clap and your body must be vibrating. And as you are praying, the Lord will begin to fight your battle. Amen. Any tragedy fashion against me and my family. Fire. Any tragedy fashion against me and my family. Fire. In Jesus' name. Fire. In Jesus' name. Fire. Fire. I don't want to see that. Fire. I don't want to see that. Fire. 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 
spiritually and before anything can happen physically it must have taken place in the realm of the spirit many people they are walking about now but they are no longer existing in the realm of the spirit but whatever the enemy has planned for you and your family this morning the blood of joy will cancel them Amen. because there is power in the blood of Jesus oh, yes. and I want to read from the book of Esther chapter 9 verse 1 and we use it to pray to cancel any evil that bad dream you will cancel it that negative prophecy, you will cancel it. Amen. That negative revelation, you will cancel it. Amen. The blood of Jesus will cancel it. Amen. Now, in the twelfth month, that is the month of Ada, on the thirteenth day of the same, when the king's commandment and his decree deal near to be put in execution, in the day, take note of that place, in the day that the enemies of the Jews up to have, over power, have power over them. Then in bracket. Though it was turned to the contrary. That the Jews had rule over them that hated them. The Lord canceled the evil and writing. And it was turned into contrary. So you want to pray. What has the enemy written concerning you and your family? What is that evil calendar? What is that evil imagination? This morning, the Lord will turn it to the contrary. Amen. Please take this prayer very well. You, that person that will be dreaming negative dream, calamity, death, and they will be sending messages to you. The Lord said, this prayer will settle your case. Amen. And there are some people here, every three, three years, people must mourn in your family. And there is a spirit telling you down that you are the next. The Lord said, he's canceling it this morning. Amen. Any 
evil agenda will be cancelled this morning. Amen. Amen. So I want you to stand very well. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Please say it very well. Let everyone recognize your voice. Let them know that you are in the house this morning. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every evil plan. Every evil plan. Every evil agenda. Every evil agenda. Every evil budget. For me and my family. For me and my family. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. You begin to make your oh yeah, be cancelled. Be cancelled. Be cancelled. Be cancelled. Be cancelled. Be cancelled. Oh yeah, cancel them. Cancel them. Oh yes. Cancel them. Cancel them. Cancel them. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Cancel them. Cancel them. Be cancelled. Be cancelled. Be cancelled. Be cancelled. Yes, 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 yes. Picasso, 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 Picasso. Come on, come on, come on. Oh yes, Picasso time. By the blood of Jesus. Picasso, by the blood. 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 Oh yes, 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 oh yes. Picasso, by the blood. Picasso, by the blood. Picasso, by the blood. Picasso, by the blood. Yes, 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 yes. By the blood. My Picasso. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. You are going to pray. Any man or woman constituting a stumbling block to my breakthrough. Any personal, any agent of darkness that they have constituted themselves a stumbling block to your breakthrough. What must happen to them? What must happen to them? Anyone saying you will not go. Anyone saying you will not marry. Anyone saying you will not prosper. Anyone saying that you will not live long. Anyone that says you will not enjoy your life. Anyone that says your glory will not manifest. They have turned your glory to Okada. Aha. The judgment of God must come upon them. Amen. I said the judgment of God will come upon them. Amen. Before you see that, I want us to pray the prayer. Let's go to Luke chapter 19 verse 27. Because some people, they may not believe in this prayer, but you better pray it. Luke chapter 19 verse 27. Are you there? Luke chapter 19 verse 27. Luke 19, 27. Okay. But those my enemies wish you not that I should reign over them. Bring them either and slay them before enemy that is saying you will not rule. Enemy that is saying your glory will not manifest. Enemy that have constituted themselves a stumbling block. You pray, pray, pray. They say no way. You fast, fast, fast. They say no way. The Bible says, bring them. Praise the Lord. That scripture that we read is a red letter version. Jesus made the statement. It's not ordinary. Say, the enemy that says, I will not rule. Bring them and slay them. Yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Are you Nicole Walogma? I'm in Lord God Jesus. They say, say, prevention is better than cure. Right. Don't wait until they make your life a. a, a an experiment before you know there is word. Somebody says, If you see somebody say, oh, There is nothing like that. No enemy. In fact, enemy has finished the, the life of that person. So you are going to pray. Say, Any man or woman. Any, any man, man or woman. woman. Any agent of darkness. Any agent of darkness. Standing as a stumbling block. Standing as a stumbling block. Standing as a barrier. Standing as a barrier. Standing against my promotion. Standing against my promotion. In dream my manifestation. In dream my manifestation. You are a liar. You are a liar. Hear your, your judgment. Your time is up. Your time is up. In the name of Jesus. Oh yes, shout it very well. Oh yes, 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 oh yes
In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. I receive a leading from the Holy Spirit now to make this declaration upon the people. If you can hear now, you can hear the sound of abundance of rain. The Lord is asking me to prophesy. I have God now pause and decree that this is a prophetic and a special meeting. And as the Lord, the Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, I decree it to every life here. Let there be showers of blessing. Amen. Those in the house that you are going through one financial problem or the other, I decree with the Spirit of Jehovah, let there be showers of blessing. Amen. If you believe this declaration, you will see what will happen to you after this ministration. I decree, let there be showers of blessing. Amen. Whatever has been blocking your heavens of financial breakthrough by the authority in the name of God, let them be removed. Amen. Every attack over your financial you, over your business, let the fire of God consume them. Resoto like a bosoto yara, puri bosoto yale ke bosoto ra. Yetari ke bali bosoto yiri kaba. Upon every minister in the house, upon every ministry, upon every family, in the name of Jesus, let there be showers of blessing. 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 Your storm is over. Amen. Your dry season is over. Amen. Your hardship is over. Amen. As from today, every door of breakthrough that the enemy has closed against you, open by fire. Amen. Open by fire. Amen. Open by fire. Those who are afflicted, let God begin to comfort you. Amen. Those who are crying, let the Lord wipe away your tears. Amen. Those who the enemy are reproaching, let God, let God wipe away your reproach. Amen. You will testify. Amen. People will see the hand of God in your life. Amen. And you will no longer be put to shame. Amen. I say you will not be put to shame. Amen. I say you will not be put to shame. Amen. I say you will not be put to shame. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Every power that wants to mess up the remaining part of this year for you, the Lord will disgrace them. Amen. Any power that says you will mourn or they will mourn you, let the power be arrested. Amen. Every demonic graveyard prepared for you and your enemy. Let the digger fall into it. Amen. Animals, evil beasts that is working against your glory. Let them die. Amen. Any of your properties, any of your clothes, any of your materials in the covenant of darkness that they are using against you, let it cast fire. Amen. Strange altar. Strange altar, strange altar that is working against you. Let the altar collapse. Let it 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 collapse. In the name of Jesus. Arrow of sickness. You that person in one part, half of part of your body, is like it's about to be paralyzed. You are feeling it, you are sensing it. That arrow fired into any part of your body that wants to lead to paralysis. I command you that arrow, jump on my fire! Amen. Any sickness, any disease, any infirmity in your body, hear the word of God by the authority in the name of God. Come on! Amen. 
can see the angel of God moving about now. They are touching people. They are removing sickness. Yes. I decree whatever the enemy has planted in your body, let the angels of God approve them. 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 In the name of Jesus. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Let's have a seat. I want to bless the name of God for this wonderful opportunity to stand before the people of God this morning. I want to also appreciate the grace of God over my Father and the Lord, the apostle in the house. It's not here physically, but I want to tell you it's here with us spiritually. And it's watching us live. And this morning, my daddy called me and he prayed for me. And he blessed your congregation. Daddy, I pray for you, sir, that the anointing of God over your life will continue to be on the increase. Amen. See, something happened before my father called. When I woke up to be praying, I was in a dream. And inside that dream, my father and the Lord called me. And in my search, I have a special ringing tone for him. So whenever I receive his call, I don't need to see the... Uh, whatever, or who is calling. Through the ringing toe, I know that is especially from my father. So in that dream, I received the call and it was the same ringing tone. And I, I told people, excuse me, I said my father and the Lord is calling. And there I woke up. And when I finished preparing dress up to be calling, coming from London, my daddy in the Lord called again. And I look at her and say, what a wonderful day. I pray this morning, the Lord will make this meeting to settle your case. Amen. And I know from there that, yes, this is the gathering, the meeting that the Lord has made. And the Lord will settle you in the name of you. Amen. Daddy, we bless the name of God for you. Since the day I met you, since the day I know you, my life has changed completely. And I give God the glory for connecting me to you, for connecting me to Clam. And I bless the name of God. I also want to appreciate our mommy in the house. Mommy, the Lord will send you more. You continue to move from strength to strength. From glory to glory. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And I want to bless all the ministers of God in the house. The SOP, the director, all the ministers. And everyone, all the workers, the choristers, you are wonderful. The Lord will bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. And uh, also, I'm sending my greetings from Kafam. Calvary Freedom Apostolic Ministry. And also I want to appreciate my wife and the children in the house. The Lord will bless them in Jesus' name. They will not be missing in Jesus' name. We are together till Jesus come. Amen. You are not saying amen. Amen. And also please, after the grace, many people used to say, ah, Pastor Peace, we don't see you in the service, but I want to tell you, we are on the Father's business. By the grace of God last week, my daddy in the Lord sent me and some people to Desert State in Ogua Shuku. That is why we are not in the service. So most of the time when you don't see me, I'm on assignment for God. So daddy sent us because the next crusade is Ogua Shuku, Jesus Festival. So if you are from this area, from Ogua Shuku, Desert State, Obuluku, or all those areas, Please, after the grace, we like to see you in this corner. The Lord will bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. This morning, the message before us is dealing with evil parlock and cage. Dealing with evil parlock and what? There is a lot of things that used to baffle my mind. You will see some people who's supposed not to be experiencing something, but they are experiencing it. A lot of people, they are going through some situation that they cannot explain. A lot of people, the enemy has finished them one way or the other. And except God intervened, there is nothing. There is nothing that anybody can do. When I begin to reason why, God made me to know that some people's case the enemy has padlocked them. 
and they have caged them. Want to say one part? But this morning, the God that holds the key that can lock and unlock every destiny that has been padlocked this morning, the Lord will unlock them. Amen. The Lord will unlock them. Amen. We serve a God that owns the master key. This is a God that when he lock, nobody can unlock. And when God unlock, nobody can lock. But when you see many people, you look into their life full of vanities, miserable things. Why? Because the enemy has caged them, the enemy has padlocked them. This morning, the Lord wants to open our eyes to this mystery. To unlock whatever the enemy has locked. And to break every cage of darkness. Amen. I want us to open our Bible briefly to the book of Isaiah chapter 22. Isaiah chapter 22 verse 25. In that day, see the Lord of hosts. Shall the nail that is fastened in the sure place be removed and be cut down and fall, and the body that was upon it shall be cut off? For the Lord has spoken it. The Lord is telling us in that place that a day will come like a day today. The nail that is fastened, whatever the enemy has nailed and they are sure about it, the Lord says it shall be removed. Many people's glory has been nailed in the, in the evil forest. Many businesses, many marriages, many wombs, many things have been locked, has been nailed in the evil forest. But the Lord says, it shall be removed. Amen. And not only that, say, and be cut down. Amen. And be what? And fall. And the burden that was upon it shall be cut off. Everything that has connected you with the work of darkness, according to the word of God that can never lie, the Lord will cut them off. Amen. The Lord will cut them off. Amen. The Lord will cut them off. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. If you read also the book of Isaiah chapter 10, verse 27, it's also talking about this issue. Isaiah chapter 10, verse 27. And it shall come to pass in that day. That his body shall be taken away from off thy shoulder. And his yoke from off thy neck. And the yoke shall be destroyed. Because of the anointing. Every yoke upon your life. Every yoke that has brought you to this ministry. Every yoke that the enemy has labored with your destiny. By the anointing they shall be destroyed. Amen. They shall be destroyed. Amen. Also let's open our Bible to Nahum. Chapter 1 verse 13. Nahum chapter 1 verse 13. The word of God is yea and amen. I will read. For now will I break his yoke from off thee. And we burst thy bonds in sunder. Every bonds, every bonds, every bonds, physically or spiritually, the Lord will burst them in sunder. Amen. I am not the one promising you, but your creator, your deliverer. The king of glory say he will burst your bonds in sunder in the name of Jesus. Amen. Then I want us to go to the book of Acts chapter 5. Please everybody read, open your Bible to this place. The book of the Acts of Apostles chapter 5. Verse, I'm starting the reading from verse 17. Acts of Apostles chapter 5 from verse 17. Then the high priest rose up, and all they that were with him, which is the set of the Sadducees, and we are filled with what? And we are filled with what? You are not saying it. They were filled with what? I believe you know the meaning of indignation. Uh, people from worry, they will say bad belly. Yoruba will say eh, tanu. They were filled with indignation. Jealousy. Something was rising against them. That was the offense. Then let's read the next verse. And laid their hands on the world and put them in the common. 
These people in verse 17, they were filled with indignation. They laid their hands on what? Who, are, who do they lay their hands on? on the, do you know the meaning of apostle? The servant of the most high God. People of God. Some of you, you are just a brother. So imagine when some people could be filled with indignation. And they lay their hands on the apostles. And what happened again? And put them in the common prison. Ah, any power that has laid hand upon you. Because of indignation, they lay hand on your marriage. They say you will not marry. They lay hand on your certificate. They say you will not get a good job. They lay hands on your womb because of indignation. They say because you are beautiful, you will not have children. They lay hands on your glory on any area concerning your hand. I command, let the hand be cut off. Amen. You know, we are dealing with evil padlock and cage. So these people, the high priest and all these dead Sadducees and the people that were him, they lay hand on the word apostle and put them in common prison. Where many people going through calamity today is because some powers, some personalities, they have lay hand, they have tamper. One year who are yet in war, they have lay hand upon them. They can lay hand upon ministers of God. They can lay hand upon ministries. They can lay hand, as we can see in this place, they lay hand on the apostles of our Lord Jesus Christ. And what happened after? They put them in common prison. Everybody say common prison. Do you know the meaning of common prison? When you want to talk, people will say, don't talk. You better thank God. That one is even better. Because it's a common problem. Whatever you are going through, that is as a result of common prison that the enemy has put you, your wife, and your children. The power of God will deliver you. Amen. They put them in common prison. The apostle of our Lord Jesus Christ. And why? Because they lay hands upon them. Whatever the enemy has laid hold in your life, in your business, in your ministry, in anything that pertains to you, and they have put them in common prison. Let the Lord deliver them. Amen. Let the Lord deliver you. Amen. Let's read forward, further. In verse 19. But the angel of the Lord by night opened the prison doors and brought them forth. And brought them forth and said, Go, stand and speak in the temple to the people all the words of this land. The angels of the law intervened and brought them out of the pre common prison. Apostles that are supposed to be ministering internationally, the enemy has laid hand upon them and they have put them in a common prison. Maybe you are here, you're supposed to be manifesting globally, but you are seen local. They have localized your glory, they have imprisoned your glory. They have put you in a common prison. You are experiencing a common problem. What you're supposed not to be experiencing as a child of God, you are experiencing it. Because some powers and principalities and strong men of darkness, they have laid hold on you. And they have put you in a common prison. Today, angel of the Lord will intervene. Amen. Don't doubt the ministry angels. Until today, angels of God see... The Lord still used to send them on errand to deliver people. And I want to tell you, this morning, the Lord will release the host of heaven. Amen. To deliver you. Amen. To liberate you. Amen. To set you free. Amen. The angel of the Lord deliver them from that common prison. I decree, let the Lord intervene in your situation. Amen. Every cage, every prison, every confinement, every limitation against you that the enemy has put you because they lay hand on you, because they lay hand on your ministry, because they lay hand on your family. Let the Lord deliver you. Amen. Let the angels of God deliver you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And what happens? The angel of the Lord brought them forth. The angel of the Lord will bring you out of your calamity. In verse 22, Acts 5, 22. But when the officers came and found them not in the prison, they returned and told, saying, the prison truly found we shot with all safety 
And the keeper standing without, before the door. But when we opened, we found no more within. Where they have kept you, they will no longer see you there. They catch them. They confine them. They put guards there so that they cannot escape. But the angel of the Lord, the host of heaven, intervene and bring them forth. Where you have been kept, and they have put a guard to monitor you, and they are, they are saying you will not escape. This morning, this morning, this morning, angel of the Lord, we intervene. Heaven, we intervene. Heaven, we intervene. And you will no longer be there. Amen. You will no longer be there. Amen. You will no longer be there. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. When they were in the prison, they were eating prisoners' food. When they were in the prison, they were limited. They cannot go to where they can go. When they are in the prison, they have limited number of people to minister to. They cannot minister because they have been killed, because they have laid hands on them. But one day, God looked unto them. Today, God will look unto you. Amen. I say, God will look unto you. Amen. I say, God will look unto you. Amen. So when, they, when we talk of parlock, enemy can parlock anything. They can just go to the market and buy 500 naira parlock and put names. And whatever they want, they padlock it and they bury it. If the person cannot pray, that will be the end. And they can padlock it in the witchcraft cove. They can do it at anywhere. But God, there is a song that says, Baba Tony Kokoro Tony She Tonti. Jesu Tony Kokoro Tony She Tonti. She le kuwa yomi o. Ti le kuma ba nuje. Baba Tony Kokoro Tony She Tonti. Can you sing it? Baba Tony Koko, Tosi Tosi. Jesus Tony Koko, Tosi Tosi. She like who I am, she like who my father. Baba Tony Koko, Tosi Tosi. Hey, Amen. The Lord will use his divine master key to unlock whatever the enemy has by lock in the name of Jesus. Amen. So in that place, we could read. How the enemy lay hands on the apostles. But God delivered them. And that is why this morning the Lord wants to release many people from evil by luck. When you see somebody with a brighter glory, who has everything to make it and is not making it, don't think further. It's because the glory has been parlocked. Anything that, can be, that has been parlocked will not function properly. When Jesus got to the tomb of Lazarus in John chapter 11 verse 35, he wept. Why was he weeping? Because he discovered that this man supposed not to have died. But they killed him before his glory. You will not die before your time. And Jesus saw the glory of Lazarus. That, oh, how can this man die this time? And I said, ah, people are so wicked. And he cried unto Lazarus. He said, Lazarus, comfort and this man came forth. I pray today, wherever your glory has been buried, Jesus will speak to your glory in the name of Jesus. By the authority in the name of Jesus, I speak to your glory. Let it come forth. Amen. They bury Lazarus and his glory. They cage him. They confine him. And his glory was thinking. But Jesus resurrected the glory. And his life turned, experience turned around. This morning, the Lord who visited the tomb of Lazarus will visit your life in the name of you. Amen. And when we talk of Palak, it's not only Satan that Palak, it's not only enemy. God, I told you, God has Simasaki, can lock and can unlock. Let's open our Bible to the book of First Samuel. God can also lock. Oh. God can shut. God can lock. I want to show you some mysteries. Of the word of God. First Samuel chapter 1. And I want us to take maybe verse four, 5. Verse 5. First Samuel, yes. But unto Anna, he gave a worthy portion. For he loved Anna. But the Lord has shot her womb. Who shot her womb? You are not talking. Wishes and wizard. Eh? Ogun delay, Baba. 
spirit's husband? No. Who shot her womb? No. For what reason? What is our offense? Please, let's go to the next verse. Verse 6. And our adversaries also provoke our soul for to make our fret because the Lord has sought our womb. Our adversary, the enemy, that knew about it, that it was because the Lord sought our womb. That's when we begin to mock every time, deliverance, everything, every time. But what happened after that? Anna cried unto the Lord. And the Lord do, did what? He opened it. So most of the people what we are going through that is not working, it could be the hand of God. And that is why we want to pray this morning. The Lord, whatever has been shot in my life, divinely, by your mercy, let it be unlocked. God, Bible says, is there, is your Bible. God shut up the womb of Anna. There are many reasons that can happen. One, God wants to use it to glorify his name. And we saw that God glorified his name in the life of Anna. In that your case this morning, the name of God shall be glorified. Amen. Whatever has been shot in your life, the Lord will unlock them in the name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord will unlock them in the name of Jesus. Amen. We are going to take some dangerous prayer this morning. And we want to use God's divine master key. Many things can be for luck. Number one. Earth can be padlock. When you see somebody going through one sickness to the other, from one disease to the other, such a person should know that this is the matter of prayer, not because of anything. Health can be padlock. Health can be caged. You are strong before, but suddenly they are no longer strong. Suddenly you begin to visit hospital. As you are getting out of one, they are seeing another thing. It's because they have caged your head. It's because they have padlocked your head. I pray for you. As many that the enemy has tampered with your head, they have laid hand upon your body. And you are now a victim of sickness, disease. Let that evil padlock cast fire. I say, let it cast fire. Let it cast fire. Also, finances can be padlocked. You see, some people, they don't know why things are not working concerning them, working to their favor financially is as a result of evil per lock. Somebody confessed during a deliverance ministration, live confession. She said, Pastor, they have succeeded in taking a currency note from a certain man. She said they have taken it to the riverside, inside the river, down down the river, and they have sat upon it. She said, that person will never prosper. Because they have parlocked the finances. Any of your financial glory that have been parlocked in witchcraft coven, that have been parlocked by the agent of darkness inside the river, let the power of God unlock it. Amen. Many people that are believing God for the fruit of the wound and doctor will test and test and test, they will not see anything. They can't see anything because they have parlocked the wound in the realm of the spirit. Another person confessed that pastor. In fact, this person said she cannot be pro pregnant. Why? Because she is an agent of darkness. And she said in the Akobu, they used to lock up a wound. They will tie it. Said the moment they tie, there is nothing that can happen. No conception. She said even though her own woman, she said she has tied it by herself so that she will not conceive. And she mentioned a lot of people that they have tied their womb. That they have padlocked their womb. I praise for you here. If there is anyone waiting, and your waiting on God is as a result of people parlor, medically nothing is working. By the authority in the name of God, any evil shame, any evil parlor, any evil rope that they have used to parlor your reproductive system, let it pray. 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 In the name of Jesus. Amen. Education can be padlock. Certificate can be padlock. Career can be padlock. Job can be padlock. Vehicles. Many people, will, their vehicle will just be misbehaving. Can be padlock. Machine, equipment can be padlock. And agents of darkness, the enemy, are responsible for all this evil work. I pray in the name of Jesus that the Lord will break every yoke of darkness in your life. Amen. 
Do you know some people, they will just be opening their shops physically, Monday to Saturday. But in the realm of the spirit, the enemy has locked it up. If you are only having any business center, or any factory, or anything, any shop, and you are just opening it, nothing is working there. I decree every spiritual bar and padlock that the enemy has used to padlock your life, your ministry, your shop, your business center. Let it break! Amen. I say let it break! Amen. 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 In the name of Jesus! Amen. Marriages can be padlocked. You see some people, when they're supposed to marry, they will not marry. It's nothing but evil cage and padlock. If you are here, you are single in the house, nothing is working for you maritally. Because of many men, they have sat upon your marital glory. They are sitting on it, and they have padlocked you. They say, no husband, no wife. I decree, let that evil padlock scatter! Amen! One of the signs of marital evil parlor is that anytime you want to marry, one problem will just happen. One thing will just happen. It's because they have gone to reactivate that evil parlor. Any power reactivating evil parlor concerning your marital life, let the parlor cast fire! Amen. Also, those who are married, when you see marriages that are, the enemy has parlor and they have caged, it, things will not work. Financially, things will not work. The husband and wife, they will be living like enemy. They will just be against each other. It's not any other thing. It's because enemy have parlor that marriage. Anyone married here, you are no longer in good time with your wife or your husband. Your husband that used to make you honey, sugar, but now it's no longer sugar, it's no longer honey, it's no bitter leaf. I decree... Any evil hand, any evil parlor that is working in that marriage, I command, let it pray! Let, let it pray! Let, let it pray! Let, let it pray! In the name of Jesus. Amen. The Bible says two is better than one. But when your own two is becoming worse, since you marry, it is one problem or the other. When will they not call you a wish? And they are the people calling you a wish, they are the ones that are padlocked things in your marriage. Whatever the enemy has padlocked in your marriage, Whatever the enemy has caged in your name, so that they can mock you, I decree, let it scatter! Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. How can you be free from this evil padlock? How can you deal with this evil padlock? Number one, you must know God. Because he's the one with the master key. You must know God. Coming to church is not enough. You must come to Christ. You must be born again. Many people, all what they do is to just pray, 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 but they don't have Christ in them. When we see talk of fornication, you are see there. When we talk of stout, beer, all those are called, you see smoke, technically. You see drink, technically. You see go about, you see go carry girlfriend. You see, ah, uh ah. -uh. That cannot help you. That will even strengthen, we empower the power the more. Whatever we make you to be free, you must do it. And that that is, you must be born again. You must rededicate your life to Jesus Christ. You must know whom you are serving. So if you are in the house, if you are not born again, now by one step is to be born again. You must surrender. You must leave the old ways of life. Say so you have been coming to church five years, two years, one year, yet your life has not changed. That's not what we talk. When you come to Christ, your life must change. All things must pass away. Can you say to yourself that all, all things are passed away? Some people, some people they still come to this place to come and snatch husband. Some people still come to this place to come and meet girlfriend, to come and meet concubine. You better repent. Because the Bible says the judgment will stand from the house of God. So if you are in the house, you want to be free from evil cage and power law, you must stop. Our Father and the Lord, you must stop Aristo. You must stop drinking. You must stop worldliness. You must stop. I know you will not like this man, but that is the gospel truth. You must start from that angle. You must. Your, Jesus must know you. And at this moment, I want, you to, I want to give you this opportunity. You are here. You are a Christian before, but you have gone back. You know that your relationship with God is zero. Or you are here. You want to make your way right with God. 
so that God can set you because you want to take some dangerous prayer. If you are not born again, if you are not in Christ, if you are not standing with Christ, it's a calamity. Enemy will begin to parlour that thing more and more. Because you cannot eat your cake and have it. So, I want you to come out now. We want to start the deliverance from you. You want to surrender your life to Jesus Christ? You want to re rededicate your life? You want to live a new life in Christ? Let me tell you, Jesus is coming very soon. The trumpet will sound at any moment from now. So, I want to invite you, before we go into prayers this morning, to come and surrender. To come and rededicate your life. Jesus is waiting for you. Come out. If you are in plotting, go to the altar there. Come out, come and surrender. God bless you. Come out, come out. I congratulate you. Don't be ashamed of Christ. Jesus loves you. Congratulations. Today is your day of victory. If you want to join him, you better come out. Come out in the name of Jesus. Jesus wants to deliver you. Jesus wants to save you. Come and surrender your life to Jesus. Come and make him your Lord and Savior. Don't leave this place until you dedicate your life to him. Come, 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 come. Jesus loves you. He wants to save you. He wants to pray that to you by Lord. Come and surrender your life to Jesus. Say, Lord Jesus, I surrender my life to you today. Have mercy upon me. Deliver me and save my soul. Write my name in the book of life. And every book, every padlock of sin, every padlock of evil in my life. As I come before you this morning, let it be broken. And let my life receive transformation from now till eternity. In Jesus' name we pray. Want to say congratulations? The Lord bless you. Please go and meet the counselor. There, write your name. I congratulate you. Let's clap for them. Let's clap for them. Let's clap for them. Sit down. We want to go into prayers. What am I saying? Number one thing to be free from evil cage and padlock is to surrender your life to Jesus Christ. Number two is for you to discover so that you can recover. You should know the area that the enemy has been dealing with you. And the third thing you need to do is to pray. You should pray. You pray until something happens. We call it Operation Push. Pray until something happens. Then the next thing is that don't compromise. Many people, they will pray. They will pray to a level, but discouragement will come. Satan will push them. They say, ah, do, do you think that prayer can solve your problem alone? Why can't you add another thing? Don't compromise. You have to have a strong faith. You have to believe. You have to believe. And as you believe God this morning, God will settle your case. I say God will settle your case. I say God will settle your case. Let us stand up to pray. We want to pray some prayers. And I pray that the Lord will answer as we pray in the name of you. I say God will answer as we pray in the name of you. Amen. The first thing you want to pray, you are going to command. Say in the name of Jesus. In the, in the name, name of, of Jesus. Jesus. I break. I break. I break. I break. Evil parlor. Evil parlor. Against my life. Against my life. Physically and spiritually. Physically and spiritually. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Do this evil parlor. Do this evil parlor. Hear the word of God. Hear the word of God. As I'm clapping my hands. As I'm clapping my hands. Break by fire. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The Lord, we are God, the Holy Spirit says, we have to pray for some people, especially. You are here, there is a sort of, how the Holy Spirit put it to me, I will say it. There is a sort of death grip 
as if you want to die. Something is gripping you. A grip of death over your life. And it's like there is a spirit of death moving around. You are smelling death. You are feeling death. As if you will die. You are afraid of traveling. Something is just, is just too in your dream. It's just reoccurring. Come out. The Lord wants to break that spell lock. The Lord wants to break that prison of death. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Also, you are going through marital storm. Singles in the house, you are going through. Something is working against you maritally. What you are going through, you know that is not normal. You are married, but something is, you don't know, you don't even understand what is going on in your marital life. Singles or married, Lord want to break that padlock. That padlock of the strong man. Come out, come out. And please, if you are in the house, you are believing God for the fruit of the wound. Medically, you and your husband, there is no reason why you should not give back. The Lord says specifically that he wants to remove that evil rope. That some of these people, they tie their womb. One thing you can sew, they use evil rope to tie your womb. So come out, and when you come out, you will place hand upon your womb. Even though if you are a man, you place hand upon your stomach when we are praying the prayer. The Lord wants to break that evil padlock. Come out, come out. You are going through storms in your marriage. You are going through some hard experiences. It's like your marriage has been padlocked. Nothing is moving in that marriage. Business is not moving. You are single. Have breathing. You are going through walls, the same circles. You are thinking, is it my sin? What a fool have I offended? But you don't know. You don't know what kind of prayer to pray again. You don't understand the situation again. Come out. The Lord wants to set you free. And also, you are here. You are under the bondage of death. Wherever you are, just stand up there. And you will pray the prayer. God wants to break evil padlock. God wants to break that prison, common prison of financial hardship in your life. And I want you to pray this prayer more than anybody. I want to sing this song. The song says, Break my yoke, break my yoke. Holy Ghost fire, break my yoke. Amen. 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 As you are singing this song, you should know that you are before God. You are before the angels of God. That thing you are going through that you know that this is a satanic cage, an evil cage, an evil power. As you are saying, break my yoke. The power of God like thunder and fire will begin to break it. You will close your eyes, forget that you are in this place because this is a spiritual battle. The angel of God that brought out the apostles from the common prison, we go and bring you out from where you have been locked. And we begin to perform divine surgical operation concerning your head, concerning your marriage, concerning your fruitfulness. Are you ready? Break my yoke, break my yoke. Holy Ghost fire, break my yoke. In the name of Jesus. Break my yoke, break my yoke. Holy Ghost fire, break my yoke. Jesus! 
Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Joke are broken now. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. We are singing this song, second song, as commanded by the host of heaven. It's in Yoruba. Even though if you don't understand Yoruba, sing it. The song says, every chain, every bounce, hear the word of God. Break, break, break. Go, go, ide. Go, ro, luwa. Go, go, ide. Emma, ja. When we sing this song, after three times, it begins to say, Emma, ja, Emma, ja. Go, go, ide. You know, this, is, this prayer is a master divine key. Master key, divine master key. You will begin to say, Bobo Ide. Ide Osonio. Ide Ajanio. Ide Merenio. Ide Romanio. Ide Arishenio. Ide Todi Amanino. Ide Todi Ayanio. Ide Todi Ayanino. You know, do you know some family, the enemy will put them in a common cage. When the family is inside a common prison, they experience the same problem. This, that problem can be a uniform problem, maritally or financially. But this morning, as you are singing that song, it's a prophetic song. Please sing this song, you will see a great deliverance. to poverty, that turn your glory, every cage, every common prison that the enemy has put you, 
any chain on your leg, in your marriage, anything that tie your womb, that tie your reproductive system, that tie your ministry, any common prison that they have put you, any who has support you, in the name of your prayer. Uh -huh. This is the second time that chain, that rope, that pallor, in the name of your prayer. In the name of Jesus, pray, 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 we want to use divine master key to unlock. But we want to take our offering out of the ways. Just one prayer point after the offering. We want to use, I want to teach you how to use divine master key. You know, master key is a key that can lock and that can unlock. We want to use that master key to unlock. <laughs> Divine master key. Say, I lay hold. I lay hold upon divine master key. Upon divine master and key. I unlock. And I unlock. Whatever the enemy has power. Whatever the enemy. Whatever the enemy has cage. Whatever the enemy in, has my life, in my life. In my dream. In my dream. Physically and spiritually. Physically in the name of Jesus, name I unlock them. Where you begin to unlock them? Unlock Use it. Them. Every padlock. Every cage. Them. By the word of God. By the authority in the name of Jesus, I unlock them in the name of Jesus. Oh yeah, unlock it, unlock it, unlock it, unlock it, unlock it, unlock it. In Jesus' name, they are unlocked. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. We seal all our prayer with the blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus. and we shall testify. Amen. You are free forever. Amen. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Let's share the grace together. May the the grace, grace of our Lord God. Jesus Christ, the, the love of God. And the Fellowship of the Holy Spirit, Spirit be with be us now forever. and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. We shall dwell in the house of the Lord 
forever and ever. Amen. Amen. You have just listened to this message from the senior pastor of Christ Living Spain Apostolic Ministry, Clown, Pastor Wale Oladiyo. To order a copy of our video and audio messages, please call 01-794-9712, 0807-658-1733 or visit Clam Bookshop at Plot 1 to 6 Clam Avenue on Mole Ikeja. You can also visit our website at www.clamgo.org or join Pastor Wale Oladinu for the live streaming of our services on www.clamgo.tv. For counseling and prayers, please call 0802 121 4355, 0803 826 6330. And 0805 Join us for our Wednesday Revival Hour from 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. every Wednesday and Sunday Glorious Service from 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. As you come, you'll be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen in Jesus' name. Settled.